Hello fungus and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today we will talk about vegetative or heterokaryon incompatibility. Organisms in all kingdoms of life have developed mechanisms for distinguishing self from non-self. This recognition phenomenon, also known as other recognition, is critical for survival and functioning of all life systems. It's important that organisms can react against foreign agents that can be parasitic or may cause any other type of harm. Other recognition mechanisms are highly diverse, from bacterial restriction modification system that recognizes non-self DNA, such as that of bacteriophages or plasmids, too highly complex immune system of mammals. In filamentous fungi, non-self-recognition mechanisms are known as vegetative or heterokaryon incompatibility. Both terms are synonymous and interchangeable. Vegetative incompatibility is genetically controlled by specific heterokaryon incompatibility genes, head genes, or another name is vegetative incompatibility genes or weak genes. And basically this mechanism determines whether fusion of two hyphae is possible or it's not possible. The hyphal fusion within the same colony straightens the architecture of mycelium and plays a role in distribution of resources throughout the colony. Hyphal fusion can also occur between two fungal colonies of the same or different species and it may result in one of two outcomes. First, two genetically similar colonies can fuse together, resulting in shared resources, transmission of signals and collaboration instead of competition. Moreover, there is a chance of parasexual events during which fungi can exchange genetic information without the formation of sexual structure or meiotic division. Such processes are likely to be important for fungi that have limited opportunities for sexual reproduction or are truly asexual. And second, if two colonies are genetically different at non-self-recognition genes, fusion will be halted and the mixing of cytoplasm throughout both colonies will be prevented. Now, let's take a closer look to the process that have place during heterocarbon incompatibility on the example of Podospora and Serena. In a hyphal colony, cells engage in cell-to-cell -cell communication and undergo chemotrophic growth toward each other until they make physical contact. Once contact is established, both cells will initiate the process of cell fusion, in which cell walls are remodeled, plasma membranes fuse, resulting in a shared cytoplasm and formation of heterokaryon the cell with two different kinds of nuclei. By the way, the process of fusion is also known as anastomosis, and you may often see this term in scientific literature. After anastomosis, nuclei of two isolates start expression of head genes. Expression of incompatible head genes in the heterokaryon makes fusion impossible due to programmed cell death. Programmed cell death is accompanied by septa plugging, which prevents cytoplasm exchange throughout the colony's vacuolization, shrinkage of the plasma membrane and degradation of organelles of heterokaryon. In case of vegetative compatible fungi, anastomosis leads to successful establishment of heterokaryon and exchange of cytoplasm, transmission of nutrients organelles, signals, and even mycoviruses. Isolates that are vegetative compatible with each other are said to be members of the same vegetative compatibility group. Reaction of different fungal isolates toward each other is easy to determine in the laboratory conditions. For this purpose, fungal isolates are grown in proximity to each other on nutritional media at appropriate conditions until their mycelia will be developed. Here you see four colonies of Podospora and Serena. Isolates 3 and 4 are compatible. They belong to the same vegetative compatibility group. You can see that area of contact is smooth while isolates 1 and 2 are vegetative incompatible. We observe the result of programmed cell death. Darkly pigmented lytic area or barrage zone where mycelium from two incompatible isolates meet.